वेलकम से सभी जनालाए आज को ये इस वीडियो में आज हम ही सीटीबीटी अंतर्गत रेगुलर बैक एग्जाम 2073 में सोधिए को सब्जेक्ट केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट लियर और उपस्थित बाहर का सों जो सभी क्वेश्चन आंसर और वो डिप्लोमा थ्री इयर्स लेवल को लगी अति नई महत्वपूर्ण क्वेश्चन हो जिसमें विभिन्न क्वेश्चन आंसर और वो को बारे में छलफल गौर ऐसे हो आंसर छोटो और उपयुक्त किसी में लिए रो उपस्थित बाहर का सों ये क्वेश्चन आंसर और वो नोट करने वाला आउट ऑफ कमिंग सिटीबीटी फर्स्ट ईयर फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर वा थ्री इयर्स डिप्लोमा को फर्स्ट ईयर को फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर में आउने संभाव्य क्वेश्चन और वो रहे कुछ पहले क्वेश्चन रहे कुछ डिफाइन इक्विवेलेंट वेट फाइंड आउट द इक्विवेलेंट वेट ऑफ फॉलोइंग्स वन वार ए मा सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड बी कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इसको आंसर रहे कुछ इक्विवेलेंट वेट द इक्विवेलेंट वेट ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इज नंबर व्हिच सो हाउ मेनी पार्ट्स बाय वेट ऑफ द एलिमेंट कंबाइन विथ और डिस्प्लेस फ्रॉम अ कंपाउंड बाय एट पार्ट्स बाय वेट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन और इट्स इक्विवेलेंट तेस्ते नेक्स्ट पार्ट रहे कुछ इक्विवेलेंट वेट ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड और H2SO4 इक्विवेलेंट वेट ऑफ एसिड इज इक्वल टू द मॉलिक्युलर वेट अपॉन बेसिसिटी या मॉलिक्युलर वेट ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड 2 16 अपॉन 2 व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 98 अपॉन 2 इक्वल टू 49 तेस्ते इक्विवेलेंट वेट ऑफ कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इक्विवेलेंट वेट ऑफ बेस इज इक्वल टू मॉलिक्युलर वेट ऑफ ऑन एसिडिटी या मॉलिक्युलर वेट ऑफ कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड 74 अपॉन 2 इक्वल टू 37 नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रहा है क्वेश्चन 2 स्टेट एवोगेड्रोज हाइपोथेसिस डिड्यूस द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन मॉलिक्युलर मास एंड वेपर डेंसिटी इसको आंसर रहा है क्वेश्चन एवोगेड्रोज हाइपोथेसिस equal volume of all gases under similar condition of temperature and pressure contains equal number of molecules. That's the vapor density. It is defined as the ratio of the weight of certain volume of the gas to the weight of the same volume of hydrogen under similar condition of temperature and pressure. Or vapor density equal to weight of V volume of the gas upon weight of V volume of hydrogen or by applying Avogadro's hypothesis, vapor density equal to weight of N molecules of the gas upon weight of N molecules of hydrogen or vapor density equal to weight of one molecule of the gas upon weight of one molecule of the hydrogen or vapor density equal to molecular weight upon two into weight of one H atom because hydrogen is diatomic. Therefore, Vapor density equal to, equal to molecular weight upon 2 into 1 or hence molecular weight equal to 2 into vapor density. Next question is question 3 number. How exact atomic weight of substance can be determined by using Dulong and Petit's law? The chloride of metal was found to contain 47.22% of the metal if a specific heat is 0.094 what is its exact atomic weight is going answer rahe kuch dulong and petit's law the product of atomic weight and specific heat of solid element is equal to approximately 6.4 or atomic weight into specific heat equal to 6.4 following steps are involved in determining equivalent weight of solid element by this method. First, equivalent weight of solid element determined by suitable method. A specific heat of the element is determined. Approx atomic weight is calculated by approx atomic weight equal to 6.4 upon a specific heat. Approx valency calculated by valency equal to approx weight or approx atomic weight upon equivalent weight. That valency taken in whole number. Correct atomic weight equal to valency into equivalent weight. Next part. Here, let weight of metal chloride 100 gram, weight of metal given 47.22 gram, 
weight of chlorine equal to 100 minus 47.22 equal to 52.78 gram. Now, equivalent weight of metal equal to weight of metal upon weight of chlorine into 35.5, which is equal to 47.22 upon 52.78 into 35.5. Here we get equivalent weight of metal equal to 31.76. Again, approx atomic weight equal to 6.4 upon a specific heat or 6.4 upon 0 0.094 equal to 68. Now, valency equal to approx atomic weight upon equivalent weight or 68 upon 31.76, which is equal to 2. Now, exact atomic weight equal to equivalent weight into valency or 31.76 into 2, which is equal to 63.52 is exact atomic weight of metal. Next question is 4 number. Write down the significance of following chemical equation. Sodium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid gives sodium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide. How a chemical equation be made more informative? So answer is the significance of given chemical reaction. Sodium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid, gives sodium chloride, water and carbon dioxide. Similarly, next significance is one mole of sodium carbonate reacts with two moles of hydrochloric acid, gives two mole of sodium chloride, one mole of water and one mole of carbon dioxide. Next significance is 106 gram of sodium carbonate reacts with 73 gram of hydrochloric acid gives 81 gram of sodium chloride, 18 gram water and 44 gram of carbon dioxide. Here, why I sodium carbonate, hydrochloric acid, sodium chloride, water, carbon dioxide could balance chemical equation but molecular weight nikalium. Why part of weight of chemical needed in chemical reaction nikalium. Similarly, Chemical reaction can be made more informative by physical state of reactants and product mentioned properly. As for example, solid represented by S, liquid L, gases by G. Reversible reaction represented by double-headed arrow and irreversible by single-headed arrow. Exothermic reaction by plus and endothermic reaction by minus heat or by using symbol of heat in exothermic and endothermic reaction in proper side. Solution in water represented by aqueous solution. Question is, next question is five number. What are the main postulates of Bohr's atomic model? Define isotopes. Write down the electronic configuration of copper. This answer is, main postulates of Bohr's atomic model are Atom consists of a small positively charged nucleus at center surrounded by electrons. The electrons revolve around nucleus only in selected circular path called cell or orbit denoted by K, L, M or 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. As long as electron remains in particular orbit, energy of electron in particular cell remains constant. Only those orbits are permitted in which the angular momentum of electron is whole number or multiple of h upon 2 pi or angular momentum remains quantized. That is angular momentum of electron mvr equal to nh upon 2 pi. When energy supplied to an atom, electron absorb energy and jump to higher level. When energy supplied to stop return in same energy level by radiation of energy. That change in energy calculated by E2 minus E1 equal to H nu. For next part, for next part, isotopes. Atom of the same element which has same number of electrons and protons but different numbers of neutrons are called isotopes. Example, isotopes of hydrogen are 1s1 protium, 1s2 deuterium, and 1s3 tritium. Electronic configuration of copper. Copper having atomic number 29, which is equal to 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 3d10. Here, 3d10 is a stable state of d subsel. Next question is 6 number. What are the anomalies of Mendeleev's periodic table? 
इसको एंसर रहे कुछ एनोमोलिज ऑफ मेन लिप्स पीरियोडिक टेबल आर देर इज नो प्रोपर प्लेस फॉर हाइड्रोजन देर इज नो प्रोपर प्लेस फॉर आइसोटॉप्स देर इज नो प्रोपर प्लेस फॉर लेंथेनाइट्स एंड एक्टिनाइट्स एलिमेंट्स हैविंग लोअर एटोमिक वेट आर केप्ट आफ्टर हायर एटोमिक वेट रिएक्टिव एंड लेस रिएक्टिव एलिमेंट्स आर केप्ट टुगेदर एंड फॉल्टी एटोमिक वेट्स आर फाउंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेवेन नंबर स्टेट फेराडेज लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस अ करेंट ऑफ टेन एम्पियर वॉज पास थ्रू अ सोल्यूशन ऑफ कॉपर सल्फेट फॉर वन आवर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड द वेट ऑफ कॉपर डिपोजिटेड वॉज वो फिफ्टीन पॉइंट एट सिक्स ग्राम इफ द एटोमिक वेट ऑफ कॉपर इज सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स वॉट इज इट्स बैलेंस इसको एंसर रहे फेराडेज फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस फेराडेज फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस इज द मास ऑफ any substance deposited or dissolved at any electrode during electrolysis is directly proportional to the electricity passed through the solution similarly second law of faraday second law of electrolysis the mass of different substance liberated or dissolved by the same amount of current of electricity are proportional to their equivalent masses for next part given current i equal to 10 ampere टाइम वन आर आवर ट्वेंटी मिनट ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड इक्वल टू फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड वेट अफ कॉपर डिपोजिटेड डब्लू इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन पॉइंट एट सिक्स ग्राम बैलेंस इक्वल टू व्हाट ना वी नो दैट डब्लू इक्वल टू जेड आई टी और डब्लू इक्वल टू ई अपन एफ आई टी और डब्लू इज गिवेन फिफ्टीन पॉइंट एट Your F is 96,500, which is equal to or equivalent to weight equal to 31.72. Now given atomic weight is 63.56, therefore balance equal to atomic weight upon equivalent weight or 63.56 upon 31.72, or balance is two. Next question is eight number. Define DC normal solution, molar solution, and indicator. What are the requisites of primary standard substance? 1.2 gram of magnesium reacted with 100 ml of HCl solution. The excess of acid needed 250 ml of an FeZr normality factor 0.4 NaOH solution. Find the normality of hydrochloric acid or HCl solution. जिसको सोलूसन छेसी नर्मल सोलूसन द वन टेन्थ ग्राम अफ इक्विवेलेंट वेट अफ सोलूट इज प्रेजेंट इन वन लिटर अफ इट्स सोलूसन दैन इट इज कल डेसी नर्मल सोलूसन मोलर सोलूसन वेन वन ग्राम मोल अफ सब्सटांस इज प्रेजेंट इन वन लिटर अफ अ सोलूसन दैन इट इज कल्ड मोलर सोलूसन इंडिकेटर द थर्ड सब्सटांस यूज इन टाइट्रेसन टू फाइंड आउट इंड पॉइंट अफ केमिकल और यू इंड पॉइंट ऑफ यर अनोन केमिकल और टाइट्रेशन इज कॉल्ड इंडिकेटर इट आइडेंटिफाई इंड पॉइंट ऑफ टाइट्रेशन बाय चेंज इन कलर ऑफ सोल्यूशन रिक्वसाइट ऑफ प्राइमरी स्टैंडर्ड सोल्यूशन इट शुड बी इजीली अवेलेबल इन प्योर स्टेट इन द लेबोरेटरी इट शुड बी रेडली सोलेबल इन वाटर एंड नॉट डिकम्पोज इन वाटर और इन सोल्यूशन स्टेट इट शुड नॉट be hygroscopic or deliquescent its composition should not change the during or its composition should not change during the storage for next part again 12 g of magnesium react with 1000 ml of 1 nhcl because 1 g equivalent of magnesium react with 1 g equivalent of hcl here 1 g magnesium react with 1000 of 1 12 ml of 1 nhcl or 1.2 g react with 1000 upon 12 into 1.2 ml which is equal to 100 ml of 1 nhcl again remaining acid react with 250 ml of 0.4 n of naoh solution and we know that 250 ml of 0.4 n naoh react with 250 ml of 0.4 and HCl. Here, B1 
volume of first acid needed or react with magnesium is 100 ml, its strength is 1 N. B2 or remaining acid that react with NaOH is 250 ml, its strength is N2, 0.4. Now total volume of acid becomes 100 plus 250 equal to 350 ml and its strength is unknown or we have to calculate, let n. Now we know that B1 N1 plus B2 N2 equal to Bn or n equal to B1 N1 plus B2 N2 upon B which is equal to 100 into 1 plus 250 into 0.4 upon 350. By calculation, we get 0.56 N is the strength of acid solution. Next question is 9. Define oxidation and reduction in terms of electronic concept. Balance the given chemical equation by oxidation number method. Copper plus nitric acid gives copper nitrate plus nitric oxide plus water. So answer is according to oxidation number or electronic concept, Oxidation is defined as the chemical process in which substance lose electrons or loss of electron is oxidation. Example, magnesium lose two electrons change into magnesium two plus. Oxide O minus minus change into O and lose electron. Similarly, reduction. The chemical process in which substance gain electrons called reduction or gain of electron is reduction. Example, Chlorine gain one electron change into chloride. Ferric gain one electron change into ferrous. Here given chemical reaction is copper plus nitric acid gives copper nitrate plus nitric oxide plus water. Yeah, copper co oxidation state zero. Copper nitrate ma change muda plus two. Nitric acid ma nitrogen ko plus five. Nitric oxide ma plus two. That is copper to copper nitrate oxidation, nitric acid to nitric oxide reduction or nitrogen ko ya reduction. Change in oxidation number of copper equal to plus 2 minus 0 equal to 2. Change in oxidation number of nitrogen plus 2 minus plus 5 equal to minus 3. Now multiplying nitric acid and nitric oxide by 2, copper and copper nitrate by 3, we get 3 Cu plus 2 HNO3 gives 3 CuNO3 equal to plus 2NO plus H2O. To balance nitrogen in a reactant, add 6 HNO3 molecule in a reactant. We get 3 Cu plus 8 HNO3 gives 3 CuNO3 equal to plus 2NO plus H2O. To balance hydrogen and oxygen, add 3 H2O in product. And we get 3 Cu plus 8 HNO3 gives 3 CuNO3 equal to plus 2NO plus for H2O, which is balanced chemical equation. Next, 10 number. Define acid and base in terms of Lewis concept. So, amphotetic nature of water. Calculate the pH of 0.1 M calcium hydroxide solution. The answer is Lewis concept of acid and base. Lewis acid, all the substances which have vacant orbitals to accept electron pairs are called acid. Example, H plus, Ag plus, Cu plus plus, Fe plus plus, AlCl3, carbon dioxide, etc. Lewis base, all the substances which have unshared pair of electrons in the outer energy level are called Lewis base. Example, ammonia, NH3, hydroxide, OH minus, cyanide, Cn minus, amide, NH2 minus, etc. Now, amphoteric nature of water. Water is amphoteric substance. It acts as or it acts both as an acid and a base. One molecule of water transfer a proton to another molecule of water. This causes formation of hydronium ion and hydroxyl ion both. This reaction shows water acts as Brunsted acid and Brunsted base. Here one water molecule Two water molecule when they are given, then one water molecule lose H plus or that form hydronium ion H3O plus and another change into OH minus. And here 
one water molecule acts like acid, another as a base that gives hydronium ion acid and hydroxyl base. Therefore, water acts like acid and base or amphoteric in nature. Now, calcium hydroxide ionizes as calcium hydroxide gives Ca plus 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 2 OH minus. Now, concentration of hydroxide ion is 2 into 0 0.1 m, which is equal to 0 0.2 m. Now, POH equal to minus log concentration of OH minus or minus log 0 0.2, which is equal to 0 0.69. Now, we know that POH plus pH equal to 14 or pH equal to 14 minus 0 0.69, which is equal to 13.3. Video कस्तो लागे हो प्रतिक्रिया दिनु होला चैनल लाई सब्सक्राइब करनु होला र और नेक्स्ट मॉडल सेट और नेक्स्ट वीडियो माली आ उपस्थित होने चुके थैंक यू